Well, good morning, Faith family. It's Monday, February the 1st. Just let that sink in for a moment. Here we were begging and pleading for a brand new year as though a digit was going to change the scenario, but we were begging for 2021, and now we're already a month into this thing. Man, where does the time go? Well, this is our daily connection, a time when we all come together and we get into the Word. More importantly, the Word gets into us. And this week, we're focused on knowing God. And when it comes to knowing God, Scripture is pretty clear. There are ways that we can know God. You know, Romans chapter 1, God has made Himself known through His creation. We, we often refer to that as general revelation. Uh, his power, His wisdom, all those aspects are brought out in creation. They reveal God. Uh, of course, we know there's the special revelation of Jesus. Jesus is the perfect representation of God. He has shown us God in the best manifestation we could have. Uh, and then we have the Word of God. And the Word of God being that consistent representation from the, the time that Moses gave the law to the people, moving forward through the prophets, coming to us through the apostles. The Word of God stands there to help us understand who God is, what God is doing, and what part we play in that. So the question that our writer asked, we're in Psalm 119. You start out there Sunday. Now we're coming back a section, if you will, into to verses 9 through 16. And the question the writer asked in Psalm 119.9 is, how can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping your word. You know, pure. Why, why is God so interested in, in us being pure? The, uh, one of the questions presented by our, our, our author. And, and it's simple. If we go back to Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, we see that God created this pristine atmosphere, this garden called Eden, to which he introduces man, his greatest creation, his image bearer, uh, gives him one prohibition, and as long as he stays within that prohibition, as long as he obeys that command, then he enjoys uninterrupted, uh, uninhibited, beautiful fellowship with God to the point where when God comes, he flees after he had sinned. That lets us know that he knew the presence of God very well, very intimately. And so it is through the Word of God that we are able to enjoy fellowship with God, intimacy with God, and specifically in the relationship or the, or the righteousness that it seeks to that it seeks to produce in us. Uh, you know, the 119 is almost like a, a larger elaboration of, of Psalm 1. Psalm 1 says, How blessed is the man who does not. And he talks about how he, he, he associates with sinners, he participates in sinful acts, he takes that on as a, as a hard attitude. He says, But... But the one who does not do those things, he delights in the law of the Lord. And on that law, he meditates day and night, and he receives the blessing of God. So the reason why the, word, the, the Bible is so focused on purity is because it's only through purity, moral purity, uh, which, of course, ultimately affects our spiritual condition or is, a, is an outflow of our spiritual condition. It's only in that situation, that, in that condition, that we are able to enjoy fellowship with God. So how do we have that? Simple, the writer says, by keeping your word. Simply stated, much harder to do, obviously. You know, it makes me think about what Jesus told his disciples in John 14, 20, 21. He says, whoever has my commands and keeps them, he is the one who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. There it is. The obedience, the keeping of the word results in relationship. So it's not just purity in the sense of avoiding judgment. It's purity in a sense of pursuing relationship. And so as we go throughout this week looking at these statements, and they're, they're, they're key statements, they're carefully crafted statements regarding purity and the desire for relationship, I, my prayer is that you will see this in that light, through those lenses, that we're not just talking about avoiding judgment or avoiding um, you know, punishment. We're talking about pursuing relationship. We're talking about engendering intimacy with God through fellowship with Him. And that comes through keeping His Word and obedience to that Word. So it's going to be a challenge. You can bank on that, especially if you're starting your day out, because it is Monday after all. We all know, you know the stigmatisms that are attached to that. But regardless of what day it is, and regardless of where you're headed, as long as you have the Holy Spirit, and as long as the Word of God resides within you, you have the power and you have the potential there to be unleashed, to be a representative of who God is to those around you in your world. So as always, I love you, faith family, and remember as you head out that door, live sin.